I'm Hirofumi Satake. Crap! Wait! I'm an ordinary businessman. My company worked me like a dog. I worked for a trading company. Things got pretty hectic during the busy season. I traveled all over the country. I was barely home. That day, I was trying to catch a bullet train. I had less than five minutes left. Ah! Gotta hurry! Run! Run! I sprinted as fast as I could. When I got to the platform, the train was getting ready to leave. Nozomi, 8-4, now departing. No! Wait! Wait! The train was departing. I wasn't gonna make it. Wait! Please! Hold it! I wasn't ready to give up, though. I jumped off the stairs and sprinted towards the door. I could barely breathe. My heart was pounding really fast. Almost there! Come on! Then I finally grabbed the door with my fingers. But then, the door closed! Ah! My fingers were stuck now. I tried to pull it out, but it no, was no use. Please stand what? Down. Hey! Wait! Then the train started moving. The train started moving really fast. Crap! 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 I ran as fast as I could. I didn't even have time to ask for help, but the bullet train was too fast for me. I couldn't keep up. Help me! What's gonna happen to me? Help me! Stop this! What the? Do something! I kept screaming for help. Some of the passengers noticed me. Maybe I'll be okay. But then... Ah! No! The fence was closing in. The fence was pretty high. I had no choice but to jump! Ah! I couldn't even feel my legs anymore, but I jumped as high as I could. But it still wasn't enough. Ah! My foot struck the fence really hard. It hurt like hell. Then, I felt a sharp pain in my arm. Ah! My entire weight was on my arm now. I was flying in the air. Ah! I was on the train tracks now. The train kept going faster and faster. My arm couldn't take much more of this. Ah! Starting to feel dizzy. I was in a lot of pain. But I somehow managed to pull myself together and grab the train with my other arm. If I fall, I'll die for sure. I wasn't ready to die. Not yet. I just held on tight. Then a few minutes later, it's slowing down. The train was starting to slow down. Then the train came to a complete stop. You okay? His arm! Uh, finally, I was saved. They rushed me to the hospital right away. Four broken fingers, dislocated shoulder and elbows. And your left foot is broken. Okay, I was hurt pretty bad. But the doctor said it was a miracle that I was still alive. If the train kept going faster, I could have easily lost my arm. Ah! Thank goodness that didn't happen. By the way, something similar happened to me a few years ago. It was autumn of 2020. I was riding my scooter. I was on my way home from the grocery store, but then... <gasps> some kind of rope got stuck onto my neck. I couldn't breathe. My body went flying up into the air. <gasps> then I fell headfirst into the ground. I passed out shortly after. I woke up in the hospital bed. I had a nasty cut around my neck. It was a prank. Some asshole put the rope there on purpose. Anyways, a few hours later, the people from the train company showed up in my hospital room. We're terribly sorry. No, it's my fault too. I shouldn't have rushed like that. I was surprised to learn that something similar happened back in 1997. A passenger got his hand caught in the door. Just like me. But that guy wasn't so lucky. After the accident, they added some new safety features to all the doors. A month later, I was finally able to go home. <sighs> that was crazy. I better get back to work. I thought it was over, but I was wrong. As I started walking home, what's that? I saw something up ahead. It looked like an animal. It was a big dog. It looked like a golden retriever. What the? It had a collar, but there was nobody around. Where's the owner? This is dangerous! What if the dog attacks someone? 
dog owners these days. Then our eyes met. Oh, oh! What the? The dog started barking at me. Then it came running towards me. Thought it wanted to play with me or something. But then, crap! I was wrong. He wanted blood! Crap! I had to run! Ah! I turned around and started running. Get away! Oh, oh, oh! But the dog was way too fast. It's gonna catch up to me eventually. What do I do? I felt dizzy. I could barely move. I was in the hospital for a month or so. I was in terrible shape. Then, there! I saw an alley. Maybe if I go in there, I can lose the dog. So I ran into the alley. But then, the ah! huge truck came speeding towards me. I didn't have time to react. My whole body went flying across the road. Ah! I fell head first. It hurt like hell. I was getting dizzy again. What the hell? He came out of nowhere! The driver was freaking out. He pulled out his phone and started making some calls. Then I passed out. I woke up in the hospital. Again. Ah! I was covered in bandages. I couldn't even move. Then the doctor came in. He said I was lucky to be alive. You're a tough one. You got hit by a truck, but you'll be fine. Okay. I don't feel fine, but whatever. Cheekbone, left leg, right arm, and ribs. They were all broken. Your organs are fine, though. Oh, and if I were you, I'd sue the dog owner for damages. You can do that? Of course. We already know who the owner is, so... Apparently, things like this happen quite often. <laughs> I'm so sorry! In one case, the victim sued the owner for $120,000 in damages for not keeping her dog on a leash. I still got a lot of paperwork left from the bullet train accident, though. And now this? $120,000 sounds pretty nice, but I don't know. I gotta hire a lawyer and everything. Sounds like a lot of work. I didn't really care about money. I just wanted to live in peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.